Hi, and thank you for watching. My name is Jonathan Randazzo. I was making this video just in response to the previous video that I had made about slurs on the trombone. Um, and this one is going to be about vibrato on the trombone. Um, now, vibrato, there are many different kinds. Um, but today, I'm just going to be talking about the two main kinds. But just to kind of recap and, and talk about all the different ones. So there's slide vibrato, there's jaw vibrato, there's diaphragm vibrato, which uses the air um, to fluctuate the pitch up and down. Um, and then there's also, some people use uh, a tongue vibrato um, to use different syllables in the mouth in order to uh, ch bend the, the pitch up and down for the vibrato. Um, but first, I think the easiest, let's just talk about slide vibrato. So slide vibrato um, is mostly going to be in the wrist of, of using the slide, you want it to be as relaxed as possible. Um, now, I would recommend using that for more jazz-oriented type playing, or if you're doing a classical solo or something um, that requires a little bit of a jazzy type feel. Um, so, you, there's different variations on what you can do. You can do sort of a, a small, fast vibrato. You can do a, a larger, slower vibrato. Um, so just to give you an example of that, here's a little tune. Okay. Um, now, with practicing vibrato in general, it takes a little while to get used to. Um, and you'll have to figure out the ins and outs of it so that you can be able to do it on command when you want. A lot of times with younger players it's very easy where the vibrato is just sort of on or it's off. Um, but there are many subtleties to it um, that with practice you'll be able to figure out. So that's that's the slide vibrato. So the other vibrato I wanted to quick talk about is the jaw vibrato. <clears throat> this is a little bit more involved. Um, a little bit more difficult to have command over, but um, basically how it works is you're removing your bottom jaw sort of up and down in order to bend the pitch. Um, so what I like to think about, actually I don't think about it now, but when you're first learning I think it's a good thing to just figure out exactly how you're going to be doing it. So I think about the syllable wa, W-A, and you just you, you form your embouchure, and then you just think of saying wah, 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 wah. Um, but not actually with the tongue, it's more of just the jaw motion. So, so it's more like that sort of motion. Okay, so just to give you a quick example of that. Okay, um, and of course, you have different variations. So you can do a really fast and short small vibrato or you could do a very wide and slow vibrato and it all depends on the music that you're playing um, so just to give you an example of that in context of something uh, here's just a little uh, a little ditty from a, uh, a concerto So for that particular piece, you noticed I didn't, I wasn't using a heavy vibrato. It was just maybe on the tail end of the note, um, and a lot of players might use that um, just just to add a little bit of warmth or color. Um, so again, with both kinds of vibrato or the other kinds that I didn't mention about today, um, which is the diaphragm and the tongue vibrato, um, I think once you start practicing that more and you learn the different subtleties of it, you'll start to see that you can, you can, there, there are variations within the vibrato um, depending on what kind of music you're, you're playing. So I hope that was useful um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the box below and happy practicing. Thanks.